welcome back. I've um, got a, a journal to share with you guys. Um, this is a Calico um, Collage Design Team project. Um, love this kit. Um, I, it's the Exquisite Dreamer kit, and I'll put the link below for that, but I've really had fun playing with this because I love the colors. These are It's kind of like a really soft teal, and you got um, some lavenders, you know, past, a lot of pastels, so I really love that because you know I like I like the soft soft colors, colors. So um, this is five and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and this one I did um, two signatures in. And how I made this, I took um, a file folder, and then I reinforced it with two layers of the muslin. Um, cotton over the spine and then gosh the covers must be about f four or five layers of cardstock on top of that and you'll see it as we go through because um, I had the file folder and then I've come back with um, like a cream cardstock then I layered um, I would printed this image out on, an, on cardstock so I layered that on it I've put lace uh, on that, then this I shrunk down and then stitched it. So, I'll give you guys a close up. And then, as I've been prowling around, I found some of these metal corners that I totally forgot I even had. So, that was really nice to find something that you didn't realize you had. And then, I've just added one of the um, Tim Holtz um, metal plates there. So it's Capture Life's Moments, so I've named the journal Life's Moments. And like I said, it's two signatures um, with the five-hole pamphlet stitch. This is the back. Same process here. You know, there's th there's going to end up being five layers, so these are pretty sturdy. I, I've called it like a semi-hard um, journal. Closure is just eyelet um, with some seam binding. It's a really pretty shade of... Um, like a teal. And so inside, um, this has got 80 pages front and back. Um, and then on the front, I ended up making a, um, a little pocket here. And then I've got this tag that I've stamped so somebody can put their name in it. Um, and then I did a little um, like a tuck spot here and did some hand stamp tag and then another little this is a journal card from the kit really beautiful images you can see I'll give you a bit of close up really pretty colors so it makes you think it's about spring I don't know about you where you're at but we've had a really mild winter so far but I know a lot of people are are getting um, you know harsher winters so if you're in a, one of those climates you're probably ready to see spring come. I personally could do with a lot more cold weather. <laughs> I don't know, I must be a freaky person, but I'm one of those people, I can't stand the beach. I don't like it. I mean, it's pretty to see. I like I like the rugged coastline here, where it's cold and rainy and blowing all over, but yeah, I, Florida, I don't even know how I ended up living in that state. Oh, but that's totally not me. I'm like, I got to be in the cold. I want to be in the mountains. <laughs> Just, I guess I'm a strange, strange person from that point of view. But yeah, I've been disappointed this year because la last year they had like record um, cold and I think the most snowfall in like 80 years or something. We come back and I mean, honestly, I don't think it's been much. Well, we had... A frost like two nights but that was it I mean that's nothing is it really sorry I'm just I guess I must be really chatty to, sorry so anyways back to the journal um, here I've made a pocket um, this is obviously comes with the kit and um, this was just an extra page I printed out from the planner kit and I just stuck that in it because I thought you know if somebody want to make some quick notes that would be there and um, I really like the fact there's these big tags those are really cool so I've just tucked that in there lots of journaling cards in this um, which is really nice because it gives you even more writing space so 
And then here I just took one of the little pieces and I stitched that to a, a little tag there and tucked that in. Um, everything's been tea dyed. Um, lots of trim. This is um, some of the vintage I got at a uh, flea market, uh, I don't know, gosh, a couple months back now, I think. And then I've just tucked in a few little things here. I just folded that over made a little tuck spot with that. But pretty cute, isn't it? It's got lots of beautiful colors. Like I said, really makes you think of spring. This was one of the large tags, and I've just made a little um, hinge so it would flip open. And then you've got lots of lined writing space on this. Um, on this, I've done a little floating um, this is one of the oh yeah it was the front I shrunk it down because this is like a full pie, size um, journal page and I just shrunk it down so that it printed out two copies on each page so then I cut it out rounded the corners added a little, little pocket here and then tucked another um, journal card in there and then I just stamped that on there and that's just been um, held in with one of the little Tim Holtz um, paper clips. Do you guys have trouble with these little paper clips? They're adorable, but I, I always find them really fiddly to try to get anything in and out, but maybe that's just me. I'm all thumbs sometimes. Um, this is another one of the pages from the kit. Really pretty colors. A doily. Another of the pages. Uh, what I did, I printed um, the images and then I went back and there's a page that's got a line. She's got a lined page in the kit. I, I went back and then just ran it back through the um, printer and this came out on the back so that, you know, we didn't show any white. Um, I've started doing that sometimes because I, I like, you know, to be able to, um, it's, my printer is quite fussy about um, my my tea dyed papers it doesn't always like to take them so I've started doing with some of the digital kits um, just running it through front and back and it's it's nice that way anyways here I've done a glassine pocket so you've got actually three pockets on this page this is uh, just a little journaling card I made from some um, scrapbook paper what's cool about this is the back of it you could almost um, you know, you could color in, and I don't know if it was made, intended for that use, but I, I think that would be really fun to just, when you're traveling, you could just color that in. Um, some little tags. This, this little tag's from the Papered Soul, so if you like these, um, Laura's got these in her shop, so check her uh, shop out. I won these in her little giveaway. And then this is from the jour um, a journaling card from the kit, and then just these little tags and then here I just did a fussy cut layered that with a little bit of lace um, got this idea from um, the paper addiction I um, can't remember her name but anyway she she puts a lot of these in her journals and I love that so this is some avocado dyed um, and Danny from Junk Journals and More has got a brilliant um, tutorial on how to do this because I tried it and I wasn't that happy with it. And she suggested I have a look at hers and I have to say it, it's come out beautiful. It's like a really blush, um, pretty blush pink. So that's um, worth checking out as well. And that's Junk Journals and More is, is her name on YouTube. Um, here is, I've just sewn in a little um, doily that I had picked up. Um, I've had those for a while but I thought matched really nice with this. And this is one of the um, planner pages. I've just put that in the center of the signature. Some little um, butterflies. Here's the other side of the doily. And like I said, lots of writing space in this. This, this journal would last you quite a while because there is so much space for writing. Um, another flip out I've created. This has been printed on cardstock, so it's really sturdy. And then I've just printed um, or stamped that. Made a little pocket. Well, this is another journal card from the kit. It's a really, really pretty kit. Let's 
more writing space. Um, just made a little flap here. This is a little envelope that opens up so you could do some writing in that. I haven't glued it together. And then this is another one of the um, journaling cards from the, the kit. Some more uh, vintage trim. Another of the pages close up. You can see lots of, I mean, there's so many beautiful colors in this. it would go with just about anything that you've got in your stash, really. Um, here is just one of the little uh, photo things from, it's a Tim Holtz. I've just clipped that in. You could glue that in if you wanted to, but I like I liked having it floating around. Um, that's one of the little um, hanger type um, paper clips. Another tag, some more of the journaling cards, and a flip up there. That's one, another one of the journal pages. Really pretty. Some more uh, vintage trim there. Another journal card, and I put in another tag so you can. Um, this is another of the little doilies. I sewed that in. I don't know if I said we're in the second signature, so paper doily. And this is another one of those little floating pockets. And I love that little journal card, isn't that sweet? So now we'll see if I can get this back on. Yeah, I do love these little clips, but they are fiddly for some reason for me. Um, some more of the vintage trim I've got, um, and then this is another of the journal tags from the, from the kit. And here I've just made a little flip-out envelope, and I've just stamped a couple of little um, tags and added some seam binding, and that says Hope and Faith. Love this page, that's beautiful. Some more of the little butterflies, isn't that pretty? Pretty kit. Really, really like working with this one. Here I've just done a belly band and then I took some of the leftover um, papers I had and I've just trimmed them down and then ran a stitch down the middle so it's just a little notebook and I've tucked that up inside there. And here, these um, little tickets, I've got these from the Papered Souls. So again, if you're looking for um, some pretty little tickets to add to your projects, check out to Laura's shop. Um, got some gorgeous things in there. Some um, vintage trim I, I put along that edge and here I did a little altered paper clip. Now this this is part of the kit so I've just cut that out and then this comes in the kit as well and I've just pinned that in and you can move that wherever you want throughout the journal. I do take um, comfort in seeing that other people struggle just as much as I do to get things put back into their journals on camera. I don't know what happens when you get on here, but it is uh, it does make me feel better that it's not just me because you flip through these things and you just can't seem to get anything to go back where it's supposed to. Um, here is just a, this is one of the tags that come with the kit, and then these are little cutouts, and I just thought that was really cute as kind of like a little bookmark. And another little flip out. Here I've done um, a tag within a tag, and these are, are part of the kit as well, these little um, tickets. So. So this one you can actually put um, 
it's another three pocket um, with the glassing there. So you've got a little tuck spot and then two pockets back there. And these are more of the um, journal cards that come in the kit. Really, really like those. This is another of the pages. I love how that's been collaged. That's just gorgeous. And then back of that doily. And here, another little pocket. This is another of the large tags that comes in the kit. Like I said, there are so many journaling uh, cards in this kit. You'll have plenty to write on. And this is the back of the journal. Here I've just made one big pocket and I thought you could just add whatever you wanted inside of that. Um, and that's the back of the journal. So there you have it. I just wanted to um, take the time to do a quick flip through. I know you can't always see in photos how things look, but I'm really pleased with how that's come out. It's been a while since I've done, um, I've been mostly doing one signature uh, journals lately and you guys know I, um, my preference is the small mini journals, but it has been really fun to come back to uh, working with uh, the two signature. So I don't know, I don't really have any plans yet on what my next project is. Um, as usual, I've got loads of things floating around in my mind, but now, uh, I do, you know, I don't know for sure what it's going to be, but um, rest assured I'll be busy doing something come tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for coming by. I hope everybody's okay and um, is having a good week so far. Um, yeah, my New Year's resolutions aren't going, getting ticked off as quickly as what I'd like, but I'm still sticking with it. Um, bit of a rough spot here and there, but trying to tweak it down because, I mean, it, these, you know, you make these resolutions and it's just trying to fit it in with your work schedule and it's tricky but I'm going to persevere with it and hopefully be successful this year in conquering uh, some of the things I've been you know that's been bothering me for the last couple of years but uh, I hope everybody else is on track as well and um, yeah just leave some comments below on what you guys are up to and I'll be back very soon Take care. Bye.